What's up, my mini makers? Welcome to another episode of Tiny Tim's Minis. For those of you that do not know, I am Tim, and on this channel, I take big things and I make them small. Simple as that. This week, I wanted to take something cute and turn it into something creepy. So we took the Lucky Charms Leprechaun and we turned him into an evil monster. And it looks pretty freaking cool, I think. I'm really excited for you to see the process. So before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I just hit 1500, which is really super cool. I never, like, dang, that's really awesome. Thank you guys so much. In one of my other videos, I was like, I want to hit 1500 by March, and we did it. Thank you guys. But if you're new to this channel, just make sure you hit that subscribe. It's free. Click it, you're good to go. Thanks. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to help support me make more videos, links down below. Go check it out. But I think that's it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get building. So this was my original idea. I had him kind of surrounded by gold in a cauldron with a beard. We, didn't, we kind of went with it, but not really. No beard and no gold. Um, I did this with my aluminum foil because it made it nice and smooth and it gave me a good surface to work with and it worked out really great and I was really happy with how that came out. And it was fun just beating the crap out of some aluminum foil. Who would have thought? Good times. So here's me building up the base for the cauldron. Um, I just put a layer of clay on, smoothed it over, baked it, and then I started putting my final layer of clay on there. That was my base layer for my cauldron. The cauldron was easy. I mean, it's a cauldron. You got a circle with a little like top on there. I was trying to think of a name for, cause Ace of Clay has Snakes of Clay. North of the border, he has Wormy Dealies. I think something like that. And I'm like, what should I use for mine? And I'm thinking I'm gonna use, what is it, curds little clay turds so anytime I make like a snake shaped clay thing it's gonna be called a, a curd because I got my twisty curd right here look at it um, I want to add little handles on there because I was just gonna do a plain old cauldron but I was like it needs a little spice needs a little something so I put some twisty curds on there and I think I love the cauldron I really just would have made a bunch of these cauldrons and been happy just like hollow the middle out Make like a little planner or something, I don't know. But it was adorable, I really like how it came out. So I was smart this time and I used Bacon Bond. On my last Adventure Time diorama, I didn't use any Bacon Bond for some reason. I used a little bit, but not a lot. Um, but this time I used them and I got the big brain energy going and it, it helps a lot. Use some Bacon Bond if you're putting it on top of pre-baked clay. It helps so much. But right here I'm building up his body. There's some more curds, that is his suit. So we're adding some wrinkles on there. I mean, he's like coming out of a cauldron. So there's gonna be some wrinkles. There's gonna be some folds. I just rolled up some pieces of clay, put them on there. I looked up a picture of a suit jacket and just like different angles it was put on there. So I just kind of tried to emulate that as best I could. I'm getting better at wrinkles. I'm not great at wrinkles yet, um, but I think, it's, I think it came out nice. I was really happy with it. On here, I'm just kind of pushing it with my silicone tip just to make it look like he's coming out, like he's kind of stuck in there. That's what I was going for. I added some texture with my X-Acto knife. Make sure you take the blade off if you do that. I didn't cut myself, but I also didn't think about it. And then I used a washcloth for um, the clothing texture because I didn't want the same texture on his jacket. I want two different textures. For his head, I made a pre-baked some eyeballs, a pre-baked some teeth, and then I just kind of started shaping. I used um, his face, like the, like the leprechaun face, from Lucky Charms because he has this big old smile he's always happy and I was like it would be great let's make him really creepy by giving him like a creepy kind of it inspired smile like the clown from it that's what I went with cut a big hole in his mouth I uh, ripped out that is so satisfying just ripping out clay like that it makes me happy and then on the inside of his mouth I used uh, a some red clay, because I knew I wouldn't be able to paint in there. Like once his teeth were in there, it'd just be a pain in the butt. Then I added his tongue, just like a little bit of white mixed with some red, you got pink. And then I added his uvula in there as well, because it's like, add the little details. Why not? Let's do it. And his teeth, his, I love, oh man, teeth are my favorite thing to make. I want to just make a bunch of mouths one time. Um, I follow this one lady on Instagram and all her thing is she just makes weird looking mouths and it's great. Uh, but the teeth were great. I just pre-baked some translucent clay. Uh, you can use white clay, but I like the look of translucent, especially when you put some washes on it. It adds a nice little, like a teeth feel. I don't know how to explain it, but it adds a nice little bit to it. And then I added some lips on top of it, just cause like, I wasn't, I didn't want the red showing through. 
and it added some realism, you know? Here, I'm adding some cheekbones, just to make it look like he's smiling. Like, you know when you smile, you got your little, little chubby cheeks going on. That's what he has. And his nose, I, the face, I tried to keep it simple. Um, I don't want to add too many details, too many wrinkles. Um, and I think it came out nice. I really, really was happy with the face. For his eyebrows, I went in with my metal tip and just had like a little triangle at the end and I just kind of stabbed in there to add like, make it look like hair. And it worked out really good. I, I was working on a sculpture just for fun. I'm making my friend a chocobo and I was using that for his feathers and I was like, hey, we can do it for, uh, we can do it for the hair. It looks really nice. I also added some ears. I mean, ears are easy. You just kind of sculpt them up. It's fine. For his arms, I wanted to him have like real big real big lanky arms. I wanted him to be able to like reach over and grab stuff and be like, yes, bring it to me. I need all the charms, all the charms. Um, then I added some more curds on his arm. Um, if you like curds, comment down below. Or if you can think of a better name for rolled up clay, let me know. I like curds, I don't know. Hands, I love me a good hand. These hands came out great. Every time I make hands, they get better and better. Um, all you did, or all I did, take a little shape of clay, you cut it, give it some fingers, uh, smooth out the insides, just try to make it look as natural as you can. Add the thumb. I started adding like the nice meat on the thumb, and then on um, behind the thumb, you add just a little bit to cover, because it looks weird if you don't cover it. So you just add like a little bit to cover, like blend it in a little bit more. Then add some knuckles on top of that, some knuckles on the right here, and then some knuckles, as you see right there. And then I also add some little fingernails. This man's getting the pedicure. He's getting the works. Um, but his hands came out great. I just did the same with the other hand. Um, I worked on both hands at the same time, just try to keep it nice and even. I think his hands came out great. I love I love the hands. Um, for his hands, he's gonna be holding a heart. So I had to put his hands in this position, like he's like, he received the heart. Um, I made the heart off screen. Um, I think it looks, it, the heart looks great. I was really happy with how that came out. I don't know what happened to the footage, it just, it didn't come out great. It was all shaky and everything was off on it. So I wasn't able to put it in, but trust me, it was fun to make, Pro I promise you. And his head, I mean, this is where I'm adding his neck. I'm gonna add a nice little scarf on there because the Lucky Charms guy, he has a scarf. Um, I added some texture with the X-Acto knife again, just to give it, I don't want it to look nice. I don't want it to be flat. You have to add something on there, a little spice, don't do this. I had a very dull X-Acto knife. So I'm adding texture on the end of it just to make it look like a, like a scarf. But if you're doing it, do it on a cutting mat, not on your finger. Not a great idea. For his hat, all I did, I mean, I just looked at reference photos for his hat and I just tried to do it as best I could. I think it came out, I love, the hat looks nice. It doesn't sit like that when it's finished. I did dig out a little hole on, in the inside because it looked kind of funny. I was like, this looks funny. What's, why does this look so weird? So I dug out a little hole on the inside so it like fit nice, like it's a hat. You're not gonna wear a hat with like a flat bottom. You need a little, a little round bit in there, but it came out good. So for the base, I just did the same thing with the tin foil. I shaped it up, um, I hammered it, to get it nice and flat, get it nice and even. Um, I was gonna use XPS foam, but I had to bake on top of it. I had to do some sculpting on top of it and you can't put XPS foam in the oven. So I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use some tin foil. It was really, I was surprised how nice it came out. I was really happy with it. Um, I covered it in clay. I threw some clay through my thickest setting on my pasta roller. And then I took my rock, my favorite rock, and then added some texture. So what the base is, it's gonna be like a summoning stone. And uh, there's gonna be just little pictographs in there and each of those are gonna be some Lucky Charms charms. So we have the heart, we have the star, we have the horseshoe, um, we have clover, rainbow, and I think that's all we have. Because I want it to be like, uh, and he's holding his heart in his hand and then he is in a cauldron. Um, I think, I don't, I'm missing in the balloon. That's the only thing I'm missing. But I was like, you know what would be cool? Adding a creepy summoning circle, like someone's doing a ritual. Um, and you have to summon him on like a crescent moon because that was one or the other. I think it was like heart stars, horseshoes, clovers, doubloons, paws of gold, I don't know. The crescent moon was one of them. So you have to summon him on a crescent moon, of course. That's how you bring him in. The paint job for this was really fun. I mean, I did some rock texture, did some dry brushing. My favorite, I love me some dry brushing. Um, I did a base of black, then some 
dark grays and then some lighter grays, so on and so forth. And then I used a red paint and I watered it down so that it looked like someone did like a blood sacrifice to summon him. And it came out. I was surprised how nice it looked. It looked so freaking cool. It was so satisfying to paint because it like fell right in the cracks. And if it got on the edges too much, I just take a dry brush and like soak up the paint that I didn't want on there. But ooh, this looked so good. Like I was so happy with how it came out. Like I dug it, like carved everything in nice, like it was the right depth. Everything was popping and everything looked so good. I put a little bit more red in the middle. Like that's where all the blood centered and that's where he was coming up from. For the leprechaun himself, just a bunch of greens. Um, I was gonna do like the bright green, but I kind of wanted to do a little bit more muted. So I used like an olive green because I felt like the bright green, I used it on his handkerchief or scarf. I wanted to add just a little like, hey, this is his color, but I don't want him to be that bright. With the sculpting, I also added a little shamrock on his head because that's what he had in the picture. So I wanted to make it as close as I could. Um, I added a, some highlights with some lighter green. I just mixed some white with the green, the base green I was working with. Um, his hair is gonna be an orange. So I finally did a base coat of brown. And let me tell you, that was a good idea because the hair looks phenomenal. There was like a nice depth to it. Like if I just did the, like a orange, it, it would not have looked as good. It wouldn't, it looks like, it looks like red hair. It looks like red hair, it looks really good. For the skin, I did some red washes. I did some purple washes. I went light. I didn't want to like go too heavy. I went a little heavy on his cheek, but everything else was pretty light. I just wanted to add, like slowly add the detail on there. And the patience paid off because it looked, it's, this is like, it, the skin tones look wonderful on this. And I was so happy with how it looked. And for the mouth, I did like some dark purples, some reds, did some washes, make the teeth look really creepy. His eyes. God, his eyes, I was just gonna do some black, just some black pupils, but what I decided to do, I was like, I'll make him creepy. I did a, a nice little rainbow in there. So I did Roy G. Biv, got added in there, but I did it when it was wet, so everything blended together. Um, I had to redo his left eye because it wasn't looking too good. It looked a little rough, but at the end, his eyes looked like creepy. They got the red and like, just like the hues going into it. I added some little highlights. I also added some uh, shiny Mod Podge. I don't know what it's called. Shiny Mod Podge on his eyeballs, his mouth, and then the heart, just to give them like kind of that gruesome feel. Uh, for the heart, I just did a red wash, um, just like a nice light red wash and looked really good. I added a little bit of blood on his hands. I didn't want to add too much blood to take away from the paint job. I don't want every, like the, his focus being on like his hands because that'd be too much. And then for the cauldron, what I did is I mixed some coffee grounds with some black paint, and then I did some stipples of oranges, some browns, just to make it look like it was nice and rusted and good. And then for the handles, I did a gold, I had some gold, just did like a, a light coat of gold on there, just to add, because I was like, they look good black, but I wanted to add just that little spice, because it was missing the gold from the doubloons, and I think this gold just really ties everything together. We have everything sculpted and painted, and I'm really happy with the results. So let's get to those glamour shots. We got another diorama in the books. I am really happy with how he came out. And I kind of want to do more of the serial characters. So if there's another serial character that you want me to make creepy, let me know. I think Toucan Sam would be cool. And I also think Captain Crunch would be sweet. 
But if there's anything you want to see in miniature, just comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe. I have a Patreon, so if you want to help support me make more videos, that'd be great. Go check out my links down below. All right, I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time with another miniature. See ya. I'm waiting for my food to get out of the oven. I gotta cook it. It's got three minutes left, so I gotta wait. I don't wanna film and get into something. Then it goes beep, 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 beep.